Hey folks, it is good to be back with you all to tackle another subject about hair loss. And this one is interesting because I wasn't aware that anyone still took this subject seriously. And that is the subject of using topical onion juice for hair loss. Now, I have had many people ask me about it and I'm reminded of when I actually tried onion juice myself in my early 20s because before I uh, used pharmaceuticals, I tried a lot of uh, natural remedies like topical oils and onion juice and that was when I first became aware of my hair loss and onion juice, like I said, is just one in the long line of natural treatments I tried to treat my own hair loss and I can safely say after many months of using it, along with uh, several other topical oils, as well as low-level laser light therapy, I could say it didn't do anything for me. So I eventually finally relented and decided to use pharmaceuticals like minoxidil and then finasteride. And my only regret is that I didn't do it sooner since those treatments actually did work for me. However, I'm just one person and I don't want to discount the possibility of onion juice being a viable treatment just because it didn't work for me. So let's go ahead and look over the science behind the claims that onion juice does anything in terms of treating hair loss. So as it turns out, I did find a study and it looked familiar to me because it was the same study I came across way back in 2002 when I first became convinced that onion juice may have potential as a hair loss remedy, which is why I eventually used it. And I was only 21 years old back then, so I wasn't as well read or capable of interpreting studies back then. So I felt it was interesting to review the study now that I am better informed on the subject of hair loss so I can more carefully disseminate the research being presented here. So. Examining the theory behind onion juice and how it works, the mechanism isn't fully understood, but it is thought that the sulfur and phenolic compounds in onion juice can stimulate a uh, form of dermatitis, which then causes antibodies to fight the dermatitis and literally distract the antibodies from destroying the hair follicles. Now, here is the problem with this. In the majority of people suffering from hair loss, antibodies are not going to have any causal role in hair loss whatsoever. The most common cause of hair loss by far is androgenic alopecia, which means people who are genetically sensitive to hair loss will have androgens destroying their hair follicle, not their antibodies. In fact, something like onion juice, which can cause dermatitis, may even make things worse for people with more typical forms of hair loss like androgenic alopecia. And I could not find any study whatsoever that shows any benefit from onion juice in the treatment of androgenic alopecia. So the chances that your hair loss are caused by factors other than androgenic alopecia are very low. So it's very unlikely that onion juice will do anything for you. So the type of hair loss that onion juice was uh, being used to treat in this particular study was alopecia areata. When what that is, is that it's an autoimmune disorder where your immune system will actively uh, attack the follicles on the hair. And it is uh, on the scalp, I should say. It is easily distinguishable from something much more common like androgenic alopecia uh, because the hair loss from alopecia areata is patchy and random all throughout the scalp. Whereas in the case of androgenic alopecia, it will either be in a pattern which begins on the vertex or the crown and it will progress until the bald areas meet and leaves just a ring around the scalp, which is known as the Hippocratic wreath. Or in, the, in rare cases, it can happen all over the scalp, such as in the case of diffuse thinners, but the cause is still the same in the case of diffuse thinners. It's still caused by androgens. But with androgenic, uh, with I mean, with alopecia areata, the location can be random, and in extreme cases, such as in the case of uh, alopecia totalis or alopecia universalis, uh, which is an extreme form of alopecia areata, it can actually affect uh, every hair on the body, leaving the human completely devoid of all scalp and body hair. So, at the very best. Onion juice may be a decent treatment for sufferers of atypical hair loss like alopecia areata, but it will not do anything for the majority of people who are losing their hair because we know the mechanism causing it for most people are androgens, namely dehydrotestosterone, DHT. It's not caused by an autoimmune disorder in most people. So the simple way, the simplest way to describe onion juice's mechanism and how it fights hair loss is Imagine you have alopecia areata. That means your immune system mistakenly identifies your hair follicles as some sort of foreign invader, which it targets for destruction. Now, by putting the sulfur-rich compounds found in onion juice on your scalp, you are distracting your immune system from its primary target to fight off the irritants and dermatitis triggered by the onion juice, which will give your hair, hair follicles uh, some breathing room. But if you are an individual whose immune system is already leaving your hair follicles alone, then it's not going to do anything but cause scalp irritation and make you smell like Jason Blaha. So the theory behind 
onion juice in the case of alopecia areata is interesting, but does the outcome data back up the theory behind it? That's what I wanted to look into. So let's look at the study behind it, and I'll post the study below so you guys can review it yourself if you wish. But uh, looking at the study, there is indeed a small study which consists of two groups. The first had 23 patients who all had hair loss caused by alopecia areata who were given a topical solution of crude onion juice. So that means it was just a... Uh, onion juice that was uh, un that was from an onion put into a blender. They didn't add anything to it. It's just raw onion juice. And there were 16 men, seven women, and they were between the ages of just five years old all the way up to 42. So some of the subjects in this study are pre-adolescent children who haven't even hit puberty yet. So there is no chance they'd be affected by male pattern baldness, even if they did have the genes, simply because they're not producing enough androgens at this point. I'd imagine even Jean-Luc Picard had a full head of hair when he was five years old. Years old. So uh, androgenic alopecia is irrelevant in the case of a five-year-old. So looking at the second group, uh, it was smaller. It consisted of just uh, 15 people between the ages of three and 35 years old who were given just a placebo solution, which was basically just tap water. So the study was conducted over a course of just two months, which would be too short of a time to measure any treatment for androgenic alopecia, since most of the studies done on proven treatments like finasteride and minoxidil showed peak results usually after six months or longer. But in the case of the group treated with onion juice, improvement was seen in just one month in 17 of 23 of the patients. And then at 16 weeks, there was uh, hair regrowth shown in 20 of the 23 patients compared to the placebo group, which uh, showed only two the patients report any kind of hair growth. So based on this study, at least it has shown uh, that onion juice does work in the treatment of alopecia areata. It didn't tell us exactly how much hair growth the onion juice got compared to the placebo. So they were probably estimating it based on external observation rather than using an instrument like a phototrichogram, which can uh, specifically measure how much hair growth someone gets per square centimeter. But what it does mean is that there was a significant difference compared to placebo, which suggests that onion ju juice may actually be an effective treatment for alopecia areata. This, but this study, I mean, even though it does show some promise, it really shouldn't be interpreted as gospel. I mean, it does have a pretty low number of subjects, and it's important to note that oftentimes alopecia areata will resolve on its own. In fact, we know it did in the placebo group since two people in that group reported hair growth, even though they were putting just tap water on their head. And this study was too small for us to rule out the possibility that the results for the onion uh, juice group were influenced by chance alone. And also, uh, there are no other confirmatory studies that I could find at least to test the reliability of the present study, which was conducted all the way back in 2002. So I can't put too much faith in this study, even if it does show some promise. But how about for people who have been diagnosed with alopecia areata and know their hair loss is not caused by the far more common androgenic alopecia? Is onion juice a viable option? Is it even the best option? Well, it's been shown that minoxidil, even in concentrations as low as just 1%, has promoted significant regrowth in subjects with alopecia areata. So logic would dictate that even generic 5% minoxidil would work. And also it's been shown that injections or topical applications of corticosteroids might be effective. So in my opinion, the best solution would be to talk to your doctor. If he or she recommends onion juice, then so be it. But I imagine a doctor would be much more likely to suggest a pharmaceutical treatment that has more evidence than just one small flimsy study, such as in the case of onion juice. So onion juice is an interesting hypothetical treatment for less common forms of hair loss. But if you're watching my channel and you're losing your hair or you're concerned about losing your hair, the chances that your hair loss is caused by something other than androgenic alopecia is very, very low. I need to really stress that. Overwhelmingly, the majority of people who are losing their hair are going to lose their hair because of androgenic alopecia. So I really wouldn't worry about onion juice, especially since hair loss caused by alopecia areata is so easy easily distinguishable from traditional pattern baldness or diffuse thinning. So if you have alopecia areata, you'll probably know since it's patchy and random and can occur anywhere over the body or scalp, even in places where we don't traditionally lose our hair, such as like, you know, on the back and the side. And furthermore, I think inducing dermatitis may lead to other scalp problems like itchiness, which could cause traction alopecia from repeated scratching where you're pulling against the hair. Um, it can also cause uh, 
uh, dandruff, uh, theoretically. Plus, onion onion juice smells pretty bad, and you don't want your hair and your scalp to smell rank anyways as it is. So, please, guys, if you are losing your hair, don't go to the grocery store and think throwing some onions in a juicer is going to provide a remedy to save your hair. Do what really will work and talk to your doctor about getting a prescription for finasteride. All you have to do is just pop a pill and let your hair loss worries be a thing of the past. So, anyways, I just wanted to address this common question. I hope you guys all learned something from it, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care.